ever been like home alone, bored, and like you have nothing to do at all and you're just bored and you want to learn how to do something? That happens to me all the time, but knowing myself and people who like know me, I would do some weird stuff. So, um, if you're home alone, I can teach you how to do a round off back walk over. So, yeah. The first thing to doing a round off back walk over is knowing how to do a round off and a back walk over. Which the first thing to do, knowing how to do a round off is cartwheel, but I'm not trying to take a thousand years to teach everything because that would take a long time. And <laughs> I'll start off with a plain round off, not starting with cartwheel or anything like that. Basically, if you know how to do a cartwheel, you'll know how to do a round off because it's basically a cartwheel and you just land on two feet, but you go faster and like you kind of twist yourself to land on your two feet. Because if you were to do a cartwheel, you would land like that or whatever. Or not exactly like this, you would land like that. But um, with a round off, you have to land like this in two feet. So you, when you turn, you would have to. Well, when you do your cartwheel, you have to, when you're on here, you have to turn like that to land on two feet. So it's pretty. <laughs> round off is like. It's basically. When you land is always when you I don't know it's I look weird doing it but that's how you do it and if I wanted to take it slower to do a cartwheel with you would have to ah no that's a dismount okay sorry but it's like you I don't know you would have to like turn if that makes any sense and then the second thing to doing a um, round off back walk over is to do a round off. I mean, no, a back walk over. <laughs> um, and back walk overs are pretty easy. It's you always want to start with facing whatever you can face here, there, facing anywhere. And um, always straight, never diagonal because you're going to fall on your face. And you would always watch your your, your shoes tied because you're gonna fall and or you might trip on your shoelaces and you want to start with your um whatever um hand you write with if you like with your left you start with your left leg but I write with my right so you start with your right leg like that your hands up and your um toe pointed I don't know, it's always how it is. Watch it, and you basically just want to do a um a um like a back bend, but you want to kick over, but like together. Because if you would just do a back bend, it would just be a back bend kick over. It wouldn't be a back walk over. So back walk over is just a smoother version of a back kick over, or back bend kick over. And once you, it might take a long, not a long time, but it might take a couple of tries to get it smooth. <sighs> because, like, it's, you need to be determined. You can't just try and just give up right away because it's not how it goes. You need to try. And the proper way to do that, it's always, you know, like that so you can actually get a form to do that. And you always land or whatever like that in a lunge or a lunge or something like that. And to do, it's how it would look all together. And that's how you do a round off back walk.